We're back with another day of Algae Ico Sathlon. Our first main event, discus throw, left our athletes all over the place. Here's our standings after that event, with brown having overtaken yellow. The next event will involve circles, but in a different way. Here's Kenlai Pai covering this segment. We've seen our athletes throwing discuses yesterday, and today we'll be seeing them hit volleyballs. You're probably familiar with how volleyball works, and we won't waste our time explaining it here. The main differences with volleyball and algae like with Sathline is that there's only three athletes per team. You can pass it along to your teammates as many times as you want in the first to five wins. Algae Ico Sathlon is a multi-event algae competition where athletes need to get as many points in a limited amount of days. Lyman Marubi is starting off the first volleyball event. It looks like Maroon's getting the first serve and it looks like they get a point. Lime didn't do good for that one. And it looks like that Lime and Maroon and they're passing it and Maroon gets another one. Lime isn't doing good right now. And it appears to be that Lime is trying to get them back and Maroon, they're also trying to make sure and Lime gets one point. Looks like Maroon didn't do well that time and ouch. Maroon gets another point. Lime better step it up. And it looks like that Maroon gets another point. Doesn't look good for Lime. And they get a point there. It doesn't look good for Lime right now. But Maroon, they're doing well. Lime better up their defense. And it looks like that. Oh, that's going to hurt. Lime. And it looks like Lime gets another point. Will they be able to turn this around? Hmm. So it's passing off the line, back to Maroon, and ooh, Maroon gets the fifth point. And with that, they'll be beating out line in the first round. There are two techniques that athletes are using in order to hit the ball. The first and more common technique is the windmill. This is when you rotate your arms in the same direction like a windmill, with the same distance. The second and more advanced technique is the scissor. This is done by rotating the arms in opposite directions. A large majority of our athletes seem to prefer the windmill technique. Here we have Magenta and White trying to see who will move on for this volleyball event. It looks like Magenta's already got an early lead as White did not do well there. But White's trying. It looks like Wei get a point. It's tied right now. It looks like Magenta also gets another point. It always seems to be that like there is a weakness, and wow, White gets another one. I don't think they're doing really good right now, but hopefully it'll get better, as they're not going to be able to get those points if they keep dropping the ball. Looks like this rally is going on. Looks like that Magenta White passing the ball pretty well now. Looks like Magenta gets a third point. Remember, five to win. It looks like, ooh, Magenta got fourth. Looks like White... They're not doing good. They just need one more point to win. But can White... Ooh, White gets three. Looks like that Magenta. Gotta keep it up. Looks like they're throwing the ball back right now. Looks like... Ooh, that's a hard one. Looks like that White... They're trying. And it looks like they're passing the ball back and forth. And it looks like... Oh! Looks like that Magenta was able to beat White. And they'll be moving on. Before our next matchup starts, we wanted to know how Brown was doing after the recent jump from second to first, taking Yellow's top spot again. Here's what he had to say. We've been doing well since day 2 and, well, we've been performing consistently ever since. We've got one gold medal and two silver medals, so we're planning on getting more medals in the following days. Brown better hope that they'll be able to beat Cyan at their own game, because it seems to be that they're trying to get some points here. And it looks like that Cyan taking the early lead with one point. Brown better hope that they can get their own point too. And it looks like that Brown is trying and they exploit the weak point and it looks like that they're tying up with Cyan. Let's just see if they can hold on to it. Seems to be that Brown has been doing well. Cyan not so well. It looks like Cyan gets another point. And it looks like that Cyan might be able to beat Brown. But it seems too early to tell. And it looks like that, ooh, yeah, nice rally. And it looks like Cyan, they get three points. It's not looking good for Brown. And, oh, Brown gets another point. It's two to three right now. Two to three. And it looks like two to four. Oh, Brown, they're not doing good. And it's like 
Cyan gets two to five. Brown will not be moving on right now. While Cyan, they will. Top competitor Yell did quite poorly in our previous event, only managing 4.9 meters. Meanwhile, some of our best were able to throw it at 7 meters or higher. After everyone finished the event, Yellow fell down the second, with Gray taking third. Here in the court, we got Yellow and we got Navy. These two different teams, one of them has been doing good early on, but has stalled since then, while the other didn't do well early on, but has been getting better ever since. Looks like Yellow, they get the early lead. Navy trying to ca counter that, and it looks like they do with one point of their own. It seems to be that they're trying to fight it out here. That's a pretty good pass right there. And ooh, not good. Navy just scored for yellow, and that's not good. And wow, that's not looking good right now. Yellow got three, Navy got one. Let's see if Navy can turn this around and stop dropping the ball. Because this is not looking good for them. Looks like, yep. Try to slightly balance it backwards. It looks like the Navy is getting two points, but still, Yellow has four right now. I'm not sure if they'll be able to keep it up. Ooh, Yellow got five. Navy, that was not a good performance right there. I wonder why so many stick figures from many different Algathon competitions always swing their arms aimlessly when they play volleyball with each other. I asked some of the athletes why they did it, and they all gave us the same response. Everyone else is doing it. Here we have our final matchup, Pink versus Gray. And it looks like that Gray makes the first shot, and they get the first point. Wow. And it looks like Gray gets another point. Pink better step it up this time. It looks like the Pink side, now it's down the Gray side. Now the pink, and we're passing around. Looks like air. Oh, Gray gets another point. This is not looking good for pink. They definitely need to step it up this time if they want to go and get a shot at this. Looks like it's down to Gray. We're passing around, and they're trying. Nope. Looks like they couldn't get the shot in, and looks like pink gets the point. They're passing around again, and. Ooh, Gray just gets another fail. It looks like Pink gets two. Nope, Gray's to four. Wow, Pink's to three. And will Pink be able to get it and beat Gray? That's the question. It appears that Gray is trying to wind up. Now it's a Pink. Now it's a Gray. And wow, Gray is able to beat out Pink. With the event now finished, Rad Kid Dole will be analyzing who had the best hits and how they were able to manage them. One of the biggest factors that can lead to a good volleyball game has to do with how you hit the ball with your arms. Earlier on, we talked about the difference between windmill and sacer technique. Nearly everybody here opted for the windmill, and that's led to some interesting strategies. Having a good serve can be the difference between winning a match and losing it. Hitting the ball just hard enough so it makes it difficult for the other team to rebound can give you advantage along with passing it between your teammates to get the right hit. Yellow continues to fight for the top spot throughout the past few days, with them gaining yet another gold medal and regaining the top title for the third time. Brown during this event made a major stumble, receiving no points and as a result being dropped down a spot. Cyan and Magenta both had breakout moments, both jumping up three spots, just like what happened to Navy and Lime yesterday. Coincidentally, they also did poorly in volleyball, just like Magenta and Cyan did on discus throw. We've reached the halfway point of Alti Ico Sathlon. I'm Kenneth Pai, along with Ragkid Doll, signing off on behalf of the AML.